Hey everyone, and welcome to this in-depth comparison between the apps Nike Run Club and Strava. If you're into running and you're not using an app to track your progress, this video will help you decide which one to use. Even if you're not into running, hopefully this video will get you into running and tracking your activity. For this video, I will be solely concentrating on running, as Strava can also be used to track other activities like cycling. This comparison will be split into three separate parts. Part one will be looking at the design, part two will be looking at the community features, and then part three will be looking at the best overall app. I've had plenty of testing with both apps. I've been using Nike Run Club to track my runs for over five years, and I've been using Strava for over three months and I've been testing this on Android using the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, so of course your experience on iOS may be slightly different. So in terms of first impressions for the design, both apps are designed really well. Nike Run Club is colourful, whereas Strava is more in the favour of orange. One of my favourite features in the Nike app is the activity section. It displays how far you run in total. I think that this is one of the best design features of the app, because it really makes me want to do more runs and keep adding to my total length that I've traveled. Unfortunately, Strava doesn't seem to do a very good job at displaying your own data, as you have to go to your profile and select activities. The way your total distance is displayed in Strava just isn't as rewarding as it is in Nike. Both apps are easy to use and navigate through. To me, one isn't significantly easier to use than the other. When you open the app for the first time, you do have to create an account for both Nike and Strava, and I really wish you didn't have to do this. But once you do sign up, you don't have to sign in again. Unfortunately, both Nike and Strava have areas in the app which try to get you to spend money. Nike has a section which gives you access to their shop, and Strava has a dedicated training button to get you to sign up to a subscription called Summit. In terms of settings, you have a lot more control with Strava, whereas Nike have kept things simple. I like how you have good privacy controls with Strava. Nike Run Club is really good at making you feel rewarded. For example, when you beat a record, you'll get an achievement. I find small details like this make me prefer to use Nike Run Club to record my runs. Strava does give you achievements for runs, but they don't make you feel very rewarded. Overall, I'm going to give this round to Nike Run Club. Strava is a well-designed app, but Nike Run Club makes me want to do more runs and add achievements to my profile. I hope you found this video helpful and see you in part two.